Hey everyone, Joe Moffey here with Master Life by Design and today's video is going to be a little bit different than the rest of them but I want you to stay tuned to the very end because I want to share some things with you that I think is really going to help you uh, with your performance in the future. I got some things I'm going to be sharing. So with that, I wanted to jump into this video around maxing out, right? Ed Mylock and, or Ed Mylett, excuse me, and he was, uh, Ed Mylock, I don't know where that came from, Ed Mylett. I was listening to him on the way home. I dropped off a friend at the airport this morning and he was doing an interview with the CEO from uh, Pink and the last two words in this podcast, he said, max out. Now, I'll be honest, I haven't studied Ed too much or his content. Um, I'm going to share some resources with you guys today around his stuff, but I started thinking, I was like, man, max out. I'm like, what does that mean to me? What does that, could that mean for others? And I sent an audio to one of my private clients that's been with me for a while. And I was like, man, imagine if you max out your effort today. What would, what would you produce? What if you max out your effort this week? What could you create this week? What, would, what if you max out your effort this next month? What would, what would you, what fruits would bear, you bear? Or imagine if you max out every day for the entire year, the next year coming up. What would life look like? How, what would be different? What would your self-confidence look like? What would your self-worth look like? What would your net worth look like? What friendships would you have? What relationships would you have? What would happen to those relationships if you maxed out? <clears throat> I'm thinking to myself, now, sometimes, you have, you know, I'm thinking in the terms of weightlifting, you know, like maxing out is great for an indicator. All right. But if you max out all the time in weightlifting, you're going to get injured. And so maxing out can mean different things for different people, right? Um, he has a book called Max Out Your Life, Strategies for Becoming an Elite Performer. I'm really excited to uh, check this book out because I'm all about peak performance with my high-performing entrepreneurs here on this channel and that I work with and my team works with. Um, and he has, I looked at, there was an, a podcast he did with 10 keys to maxing out your life. I'll put it in the description below for you guys to check out because um, he's just a stud. You know, he went from a nobody to playing in a financial game and becoming a master at it and building a massive organization. And now he has a private jet that he goes and helps people around the world with, but he still stays true to his mission. But I was just thinking, you know, what is your max out? <clears throat> and when I think about max out, my perspective on this is a little bit different. It's not to max out every day where you're just beating yourself to the very end. What I mean is being clear on what is it you want to achieve that you have been putting off and maxing out that performance. You know, it's like, where do you usually stop and going to going past that? Max out that extension of where you usually stop. That doesn't mean that you have to push yourself to the edge at 100%. But it does mean that you go further than where you've been. And I'm not just talking about a little bit. You need to stretch yourself. Most people underestimate what they can do in a decade and overestimate what they can do in a year. But if you max out, I love it. He, just, he said it at the end of his podcast. He was just like, all right, everyone, have a great day. Max out. And I was just like, mm, that's good because my thing is make today count. And I'm like, man, what if we married those two, right? Make today count and max out. What difference would that have in your life, your relationships, your presence, your health, your finances? Like, what would be different for you? And I just want you to imagine what would be different over this next 30 days if you actually maxed out your performance. Not the result. <clears throat> We can't control the result, the outcome. We know what it is. We don't want to be attached to it, but we can max out our effort, right? What we put into it, what we can control. And when you do that by default, you'll get a result. You're always getting a result, whether you max out or not. It's just, is it the one you want or not? And so I love this philosophy of maxing out and I can't wait to dive more into it. And you might be sitting there saying, well, Joe, why the hell would you make a video about maxing out and Ed Milock, uh, his stuff about it? Because I want to get this out to you. I want to get your brain turning and I'll give you feedback on his 10 keys to maxing out. I'll do another video on it and then his book for strategy for becoming an elite performer. But I was just like, man, I started thinking like, what difference would that actually make? What is your definition of maxing out? Where are you now? And what would maxing out look like? If you just stop right now and get clarity in just two areas of your life, maybe it's your financial game, which is your business maybe, or 
your relationship or your health, right? Or your friendships, your contribution, right? Your personal care. If you would max that out, and I don't mean, you know, personal care, oh, massage, just get a massage every day and spending $100 every day. Maybe you, you can, but I don't really mean it by that, you know, in that context. Like maybe you've been neglecting getting a massage, a chiropractic adjustment, getting, going to a physical therapist. Maybe it's going to get your teeth done, uh, getting that checked out. What does, it, maybe it's meditation. Maybe it's reading a book. Maybe it's taking yourself out on a date. Maybe it's going in the nature for a weekend by yourself. <clears throat> What does that look like? What would be different if you maxed out? And so I started thinking, okay, what are the areas in my life, in my business, do I need to be maxing out? And what if I walk myself down that road, if you walk yourself down that road, does it excite you, the possibilities that can come? If it doesn't, then don't max out that area. You're just walking down a different path. Some people, they sit there and they're like, all right, I'll max out my job. And it's just like, they don't already enjoy it or I'm gonna max out this business, but I don't really enjoy it. I wanna go do this thing over here. And I'm like, well, go go do that. I had a client reach out to me and they're, they're building this, <clears throat> this business, which is outstanding, but what they really wanna do is do this. But it probably doesn't pay as well as this opportunity over here. It can't create the same amount of wealth as quickly, probably. Doesn't mean you can't create that wealth. And I was like, why don't you go start doing that? What if you started on your side time, on your time off, and I'll use Ed's language, what if you max out the opportunity that you have there and what really brings you fulfillment in your career, right? And it's a whole mindset shift there. And I'm hoping you guys are picking up what I'm putting down here because it's so powerful when you max out. What would that look like to max out your health? Would that mean you would be 50 pounds lighter? Would that mean you'd be more flexible? Would that be, <clears throat> would that mean you'd have a better cardiovascular endurance? Like you'd have better balance, you'd be stronger, you'd be more fit. Like what does that look like for you? Max out. And so I wanted you to think about that concept today and think about every opportunity. Where can, what can this, what can maxing out this area look like? And it doesn't have to be a big category. It could be this little thing. How can I max out the time with my children today? And the date that I'm recording this is my son, my second son, Zayden Michael's birthday. So happy birthday to you, buddy. Dad loves you. What does it look like to max out with your kids when the time that you do have with them? What does it look like to max out your meditation? What does it look like to max out when you're looking outside or you go outside and you're just present with the sun, the trees, the wind, nature? What does it max out mean to max out when you're having a conversation with your friends or your neighbors or your business partner or your client? I want you to think about that because it can change how you show up. It can change the direction of your life. The path to mediocrity can be slow. If you just go half ass on a rocket leaving you know, the, uh, the atmosphere, you're not breaking through. But when you max out, you break through and you have a brand new experience in a whole new environment that you never believed was possible. That's what you're destined for. That's what I want for you is to take your business, to take your relationship, your health, your finances, whatever. I want it to go into orbit, change the atmosphere in which you're living in. Some of you are not going at the pace you need and by maxing out, like Ed talks about, your life goes to a new atmosphere. So what are you willing to max out? I'd love to know, put it in the comments, hit that thumbs up button, I know you found value in the video, and also make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell right next to it so you can be alerted when these videos come out, and if you got any feedback, you wanna be able to think about, you want me to do a video on something else, please let me know. And then I'm going to be making a video on some of the t crazy tools that I've been using and testing on myself as I unveil it to my private clients, my VIP exclusive clients, and that can help, um, um, really optimize an individual's performance, go to that next level. So I'm excited to share that in future videos, but I am gonna put the link down to his book and to his podcast that I told you guys about. So make sure you go in the description, check that out. With that, go out, make today count, and max it out. Joe Moffat with Master Life by Design. Have a great one, guys. See ya.